Good morning, everybody. Hi, Robin Hillsdorf. Hi, Robin. What's the one you Well, I got your anniversary sale, and I thought I would take a moment to interview one of my favorite teachers. And Jackie teaches all the beginning embroidery classes. So we thought we'd talk about the good things coming up and maybe answer some questions. So if you're watching this morning, Come on there and say hi. Where are you from? We'd love to see how far we're reaching out to the virtual world. Good morning, Jackie. Welcome to What's Going Down the Coast with Robin. Oh, good morning. We got all kinds of stuff going. Uh, today we're going to do embroidery fundamentals, which will be more lecture for a couple hours, and then go into my project. And this little uh, bag is the project for today. I know. Can you kind of, hey, Jackie, can you take that off the wall and kind of give them a close-up of that? That is so cute. You if, you know, if you're in the store today, come by and visit with Jackie, and we'll show you how to sign up for her class, whatever you need us to do. But come by and check this out. How many of you are sitting at home and want to buy, and you have piles of CDs in your sewing room of in the hoop projects, but you're just afraid to, to learn that first step? Well, that's why we have Miss Jackie. So, Jackie, what's a good tip for people who are doing an independent project? What's a good first step? Do you have one? Yeah, um, most usually the first step is uh, stitch just on embroidery stabilizer. That's where people don't understand. They want to put the fabric down. And you start out with just blank stabilizer and do your first step and, and then go from there. And you have to do them in order. You have to do the steps in order. Well, that's good. Thank you for asking it. Oh, hi. We got Lavetta. Hi. Lavetta says hi. Thank you. And I'm sorry about the audio. It, it's just the fun of um, me and with that. So one of the cool things I wanted to talk about with Jackie is you've got an event coming up in April. In the yeah, I'm really May. excited. Tell us about that, Jackie. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be in store, not virtual. And uh, we're going to have four projects. I picked them out: fabric tray, um, a table runner, a double oven mitt, and then a uh, quilt blocks for pillows. Ah, it sounds like a kitchen and a home remodel class. <laughs> yeah. You I know, think it'll be fun. Yeah, it can. And you know what? Don't laugh. I know I'm teasing you. Actually, what's really cool is some of those little small pops of color, whether it's a table runner or an oven mitt or a bread box cover or something like that to your kitchen can give you a whole new look. And you can feel like and you, all you got to do is sew it a little bit in two. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and I like the fact that when you're done, it's finished. I mean, you, you actually made something. You didn't just embroider on a piece of fabric or you know whatever that's cool so i'm gonna so how do we sign up for this stitch party all right here we go what do we, we do go to sewbargain.com and that's s-e-w-b-a-r-g-a-i-n.com cool. and then click on events and classes and just go to that calendar you can forward in the past, in the future months, and you can just sign up right there. It's very easy. It is. And the dates on it are going to be April 30th and May 1st. So, Jackie, um, what can you tell our viewers out there what if they come in and meet you today and they do some shopping, what in anything related to embroidery, what can they save today? Oh, all right. 25%. I'm excited. 25%. That's right. And ladies. You can call in. We had ladies calling in orders yesterday. <laughs> if you're still calling in quarantine or mid shots, I can do you call our active numbers there. And so if you want to sign up for active or you want to shop, we can pull your order over the phone and you can drive by and pick it up outside. We had a lot of that yesterday. So that was I thought that was a really cool idea. And you're staying safe, but you're still in local business. Now, Jackie, I'm gonna, since we're talking about OESD, what's so cool about OESD? Because you can support your stitching post, but you, you can buy one design for my 20 design. 
Oh, it's really a big thing because you can get just one design. If you like just one design in a pack, you don't have to buy them in a pack. You can buy them independently. And they do sale. Uh, a lot of times they have dollar designs for every month or every week they have different specials. So. Oh, that sounds good. You know, and that's probably a good idea. You know, if you're not, I've never used OESD, Robin, or Jackie, you're in the store and you've never used them. That's a, the dollar sale is a great way uh, to try it out because somebody always wants that weird one little thing that they want you to embroider. And it's so hard to find, but with this online shopping, you go to the, the bargain.com and you click on it, it says buy designs. And we have several companies that you register and you put Stitching Coast is your dealer. You help support your dealer. And, you know, supporting small business during COVID right now is so, so important. So, if and if I'm not mistaken, whenever you do go on there and pick your dealer, it stays that way. You don't have to do it every time. Oh, that's good to know. Well, what I love about OESD, I'm going to kind of interrupt you here, and I don't mean to. <laughs> OESD has every brand of sewing machine out there. I mean, they have old models all the way to new. And they do sew out after sew out after sew out on each brand until it's perfect. If it's not perfect, it goes back to that digitizer and it's corrected before they even release any designs. And it's been that way since I started back in 99. They have not changed that philosophy. And I think that's so important. You don't want to buy some fly-by-night design that's going to make you have to come visit Mr. Jonathan. So, <laughs> and well, and I had a question yesterday about an OESD design that I want to do in one of my classes, and I got on the chat and asked the question, and he answered me, and then he came back and sent me an email to um, after he went and talked to the digitizers and the people stitching them out. So that was really nice that he followed up with me. That's good. Yeah, they're a very reputable company. And so I, and their events are a lot of fun. Uh, you learn so much because these guys kind of invented what we do. All the state lines and uh, all the different, a lot of research because they were an embroidery house before they were a distributor of embroidery supplies to the market. And it's a great story. And I can tell it better than the original people who did it. <laughs> I started with them sometime around 2000. I'm not sure when, but I was in several of their monthly clubs. And then now I just buy when I need something, but uh, I do quite a bit from them. Yes. And when you buy Oklahoma uh, sewing and embroidery design products, you are supporting an Oklahoma company. That's what I like. About it. Yeah, um, me too. In a little weird way, even though it's a national brand, you are shopping local. <laughs> So, so anyway, anyway, I thought since we have Jackie on here. Hey, Joyce. So does anybody have any questions about embroidery? Uh, just put them on there and we're going to let Jackie take a few questions. But uh, Joy, oh, I'm going to post this up here. Uh, Joyce says, hi, ladies. It's good to see both of you. And then, <laughs> yeah, we also have, uh, hi, ladies. Our auto is good, but apparently it's better. <laughs> <laughs> good. So I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off and I'm gonna ask you a question is and I'm gonna let you tackle it, Jackie. Well, it must be a long question. Well, Are you trying to on. I'm a slow typer. I henpeck. Okay, so I'm going to show this question here, and it says, how do you choose a stabilizer for a project? Oh, wow. That's really complicated once you get going, but um, you need to have a tearaway, a cutaway, and a washaway, especially a topper for towel. Hang on there. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm back. Give it a minute. Give it a minute, Jackie. Oh, there you are. I'm going to go around the corner. I'm going to go around to the stabilizer. 
Okay, and I'm going to answer a little bit more. On Hey there, Robin. Oh, good. We're back. Um, what I was saying about stabilizer is you need to decide, you know, what you're going to do, what you want to use it for, what kind of fabric it's on. Uh, there's a lot of things to consider, but anything that's wearable, I use a poly mesh or a cutaway stabilizer. Poly mesh or no show mesh or same thing. And um, then if you're going to do a towel, sometimes I use a wash away. And sometimes I use a tear away. Kind of depends on the color of the towel and if I care what the back looks like. Because if you use a tear away, sometimes you have white on the back that you, unless you took tweezers, you would never pull them out. And then uh, freestanding lace, we use Badge Master and then a uh, layer of a mesh wash away. A Hi, I'm back. <laughs> I Thank think you I'm for just talking, about Jackie. done. Anyway, I wanted to kind of show these bundle packs. Jackie, and this cool, and you have a design pack in it. Oops. Let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah, which one you got? I have the garment bundle. Oh, yeah, that's a good one because um, it has the topper and it has a no show mesh. And I, doesn't it have that woven fusible to reinforce? Yes, it does. It's got the woven fusible cutaway. And so. Pretty much the rule of thumb is it, Jackie, that if you have any kind of stretch anywhere, like my dress has stretch, you want to use the cutaway. That's right. very if you important. wear it, don't tear it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I apologize to everybody for the router. <laughs> well, I if think something can't go wrong, wrong, it will go wrong here in Sewing World. But anyway, um, Jackie, thank you so much for answering the stabilizer question. So things like this. But I showed you here are 25% off. Uh, Ice cord embroidery thread, um, design packs, embroidery machines off MSRP. So if you're looking to increase your sewing room and add a new machine, if we fascinated you about embroidery this morning, we invite you down here. And if you have any questions about signing up for Jackie's class, we'd be glad to sit down. Jackie's gonna. How long are you gonna be here till today, Jackie? Till 3:30. All right. So hopefully we'll see you down at the post. This is Robin Hill for saying, hey. What's Robin, up? What's on the post? All right. Have a great day. Thank you. You're welcome, Jackie. Thank you. Anyway. Anyway, you guys have a blessed sewing day and thank you so much for your time.